about boxing world JF sports so Saul Canelo Alvarez supposedly is getting slammed on Instagram article came out I put the article link in the description you guys can check him out if you want to but anyhow I guess after the Cotto fight a lot of fans are very very unhappy with Canelo because talking about wanting to continue to fight at catch weight 155 and we all know Golovkin wants to stay at 160 and it's like almost mandatory for Canelo to take that fight but since Canelo won um, I guess he doesn't want to give the full advantage to Triple G like in my own honest opinion I think both fighters are are equal you know what I'm saying? I think, you know, not to talk about record and stuff, because obviously Triple G is undefeated. But as far as, like, frame, you know, a um, little bit of height here and there, reach, I guess. I mean, besides those little disadvantage and advantage from each other, I think it could be a very good fight at 160. In just my own opinion, you know, if you want to be, you know I'm saying, a middleweight champion of the world then let's do the right thing and be by the book, be, you know, because as we all know, man, lately, there's a lot of these catch weights. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's very, very, and it's annoying the fans. I, I think that's what it is. I think it's, the fans are starting to question why people don't just, or why the fighters are not just fight at what it's supposed to fight at, as far as weight-wise. You know what I'm saying? But anyway... It says over here, the fans are very happy, unhappy with Canelo, talking about wanting to continue to fight at catchweight 155, despite him holding on to the WBC middleweight title now. Middleweight title. You know what I'm saying? Middleweight 160. On almost every Instagram post by Canelo, the fans barbecue him and about, about the catchweight thing. They want Canelo to fight the full weight of 160. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know? Fans want Canelo to fight Triple G at 160. Full 160. You know, and in all other title defenses to come in the future. So I guess Canelo's fans, even though I know he got a lot of fans, and I'm sure he's got his own um, reasons, reasoning, so to speak, of why he wants to keep fighting at 155. I mean, who really is who's gonna fight Canelo now at 155? You know what I'm saying? There's nobody there for him. Even if there is, he probably gonna beat him at 155. You know, why not challenge? you know, Triple G Golovkin at 160, and if he beats him, hey, he's the king, he's the champ. You know, I can't blame the fans for saying what they're saying about Canelo, you know, staying at 155 when he holds a title there. You know, you got to move up. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he's a small dude. You know, Canelo could easily rehydrate to, you know what I'm saying, 170 if he wants to. So I don't see the issue why. I'm sure he's got, like I said, his own, you know, reasoning and I don't think it's only Canelo I think it's people around him you know if I was if I could mention I think it's I think De La Hoya has something to do with it you know I mean is it fair or is it just right to say that Canelo is scared of Triple G at 160 I mean possible you know is he ducking Triple G period you know because if it was Miguel Cotto and said you know what Canelo I'd fight you on 160 I don't think that Canelo would say no. I think Canelo would fight Cotto at 160 because he knows he can beat him. But you got an undefeated Kazakhstan dude over here, you know, the elephant in the room. It's not that easy to beat. You know, remember what happened with David Lemieux? I mean, he talked all that trash and he got embarrassed. But anyway, you know, I'm not going to judge Canelo for wanting to fight at 155, but it seems. Yeah, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, maybe it is a fucking duck, right? So, I don't know why Canelo would want to keep fight, fighting at 155, holding the title at 160. You know, it irritates the fans. And, okay, let's say, let's say Triple G agrees to fight Canelo at 155. What is, you know, I can hear another excuse. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'm not saying that there will be, but it seems like to me that just, I don't think Canelo wants to fight or probably not him, people around him, you know what I'm saying? I don't think those people, if not Canelo, wants to fight Ch Triple G as of yet. Does that make sense? You know, I think he wants a couple more fights before he actually say, 
you know what? Okay, I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? But I think right now he's ready. I mean, he looked good against Cotto. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like it was a hard fight. You know, a lot of people, even though a lot of people saying that Cotto or the scorecards after the Cotto fight was a little ridiculous, I thought that he still won the fight. You know, I mean, he didn't knock down Cotto or knock knock out Cotto. I mean, in my honest opinion, you know, and even I did pick Cotto to win the fight. In my honest opinion, if Triple G would have fought Cotto, I think he would have knocked him down. You know? But that's one's opinion, I guess. But the fans are not very happy with Canelo at the moment. You know? And this has been going on now for a couple of weeks. You know, ever since after the fight. And they said, okay, what's next for Canelo? Canelo, man, come on, man. Go pick up that fight. And you know what? That's 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 a good fight. Canelo versus Triple G. That will make some big numbers. Probably bigger the number than, than what the Cotto fight uh, did. You know, I don't know, man. It, it's it's fishy to me of why Canelo doesn't want to fight at 160. I'm sure there's more to come. And if you guys know something, please let us know. Drop drop us some comments. But other than that, what could really be Canelo's excuse not to fight at 160 and face Golovkin? You know what I'm saying? Or is it vice versa? You know, is it Golovkin that's ducking Canelo 155? But then again, if you really look at who's right and who's wrong, one one sixty is middleweight, which Canelo holds title at the moment. So one sixty it is. You know, there's no catch weight. Let's fight at one sixty because that's where the title is. But like I said, man, these are just only my opinions. You guys got your own. Drop us some comments. Let us know what you think. Drop us some comments. And as always, thank you for watching. And subscribe to JF Sports.